Hello guys, welcome to Full Manager 14, Becoming Legend, the series has finally returned. After a long summer break, I'm getting back into this series, I've made a few transfers. If you want to re-refresh uh, re your brain about this series, um, last season we done very well indeed, we finished... Uh, a nice little sixth place, very little handy sixth place in the uh, league, qualifying for the Europa League. Um, and we've done well, we've done well. But let me show you the transfers we've done over the summer because we made some decent transfers, I think. The first one of all of them, well, I'll show you the players that went out. Mikel Vaughan went out, he was getting old um, and his wages were a bit too high for me. Aidan White left because he got stroppy, he wasn't playing. Probably should have kept him, to be honest. I wish I kept him. Dan Fletcher left because of age, went to Inverness. Still looks like a decent player, though. Um, Luke Llewellyn, you know, just a rubbish, rubbish regens there. Um, Sean Morrison also went to Celtic, and that's the rest of the, that's the, all of the good players, really. A few players gone out on loan. We bought in, first of all, we had to get a, a centre back, and we got this guy, Brian Vera, another Argentinian. We're getting the Argentinian influx, really. We're getting a lot of Argentinian players coming to Swansea. So it's sort of a bit Welsh, a bit English, and a bit of an Argentinian squad, really. Uh, um, but we've got this guy, he's a nice young 21 year old, he'll be happy playing back up for a while, he's got an injury though which is a big problem uh, and hopefully he, there's a chance he might develop into a first team player, he's got nice bravery there uh, and good tackling, hopefully he's not stunted too much by this injury but hopefully he'll develop into a first team player, that'd be nice to see and if not he'll definitely be a backup player. And here's our best player we signed, Gabriel Silva at 18 years of age and look at those attributes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push... Um, the player of the season last season, in my eyes, uh, even though he didn't get fans to play out of the year, Rodrigo Gomez, and he'll be being pushed back to right back. And we'll be playing Gabriel Silva as our main right winger. So, an, a very attacking Argentinian right-hand side. Hopefully both of them will get capped by Argentina. That'd be nice. Um, and I think we'll develop a little partnership there. Gabriel Silva and um, Rodrigo Gomez. I think there's definitely a partnership there. Uh, and he's good, he's good. I've played with him in the Europa League uh, in the qualifying stages and he's looked very good. He's called a nice long ranger, uh, a very nice player he seems and I hopefully he develops and he can become one of the best players in the world. Just those attributes are insane. Uh, mental ones are a bit low but they develop with age. He's only 18 years of age. He's going to be a beast. He's going to be an absolute legend. And I brought this guy, um, a young English lad, Ryan Ledson, who doesn't look too good at the moment, but I'm hoping to develop him. It's his birthday and it's the first game of the season coming up. Um, I'm hoping to develop him into a very good player. Um, I want him to sort of be like a Sergio Busquets, a sort of maybe a, a Schweinsteiger as well in there. The player that can just sit behind the two creative midfielders uh, uh, and win them balls and start attacks, sort of like Busquets does to Bar is to Barcelona. Very important player. Um, we've got Tactidis as well, so we've got two options there. Tactidis is much more defensive, much more physical, whereas Ryan Ledson's a much more technical player. Um, we brought another young Argentine, um, Jose Osvaldo Sanchez, um, as backup for Ben Davies as Aidan White left. So hopefully he'll develop as well. Another sort of player that could become a first team player. He's got the potential, but yet again, he's 21 years of age. And then we brought two uh, just youngsters, youngsters who could develop into good players. Mark Powell, I like the look of him really. I want to develop his passing, and he could be a decent, um, a decent player. I wanted to get some players, and because Swansea have got no disrespect, a pretty bad youth system in place. It appears because I'm not getting very many good regens come through. I've only had one batch to be honest, and there weren't really very many. Well, there was none when I joined. No decent regens, so um, I need to get some good players because. Now we're in Europe, you need to have at least four players that have been trained at your club before the age of 20, 21 for at least three years, I think it was. So I, I need to get some really young players just to train them at the club who could potentially come in to be first team players. And Mark Power and Anderson are the two players I've picked. Hopefully, we can once we get a bit more money, we can just improve the, the youth setup and make sure we get more regens coming through our own academy. Um, but that's it for the players. Um, I will show you the first match of the season against Reading so you can re-familiarise yourself with the players starting 11 and the style of football we play we managed to beat AGF a um, was it a Swedish team or Norwegian team them Danish team I beg my pardon uh, we managed to beat them just <laughs> uh, it was a poor poor performance to be honest but we got through against AGF uh, we've got Maribor in the playoffs to get into the uh, the group stages Um 
But the first game against Reading, I'll show that live in the next episode. Expect these episodes to be a bit more regular now. I'm getting back into this series. Um, what else is there to show you? I'll show you the awards from last season. Fans Player of the Year went to Neil Taylor. Um, well, sir. <laughs> The youngest goal scorer went to Gabriel Silva. Oh, that's this season. Martin Flint. Martin Flint has developed very, very well. He's going to be our starting centre-back for years and years to come. I like the look of him. He looks very, very good. Um, England international, I think, very soon. I hope he gets capped very soon. Where are we predicted to come in the league? Eighth place. Eighth place we're predicted to come. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting season. There's the team. I'll quickly go through the team before the start of the season really quickly. Jason Steele, our young goalkeeper. I'll show you the attributes quickly. Pat Taptidis are... Uh, it's going to put a lot of pressure on Ledson. He's sort of the older of the defensive midfielders. He's a much more of a... A stronger player. Six foot three. He's still got decent technical attributes, but, you know... He could teach Ledson a bit. He didn't want to teach Ledson, though. He said he was not keen on being a tutor, so that was a bit disappointing. Um, Neil Taylor, he's our old dog. He's the captain. He's the fans' player of the year. Still there. Brian Vera, I showed you him. James Will Prowse, not developing as much as I like, and he's not very good in game, which is disappointing. Um, this is a do or die season for him. He's on 65k a week, which is the biggest wages any of the players have got. So he's really got to step up this season, or I will sell him. I will get rid of him because I'll get a lot of money for him. So hopefully he'll step up this season. Um, I'm going to try and play him in a more attacking role this season. I'm drop Gutierrez to a more of a deep line player maker. We've got Matthew Watkins, who definitely deserves a shout. Hopefully he'll develop um, into a decent striker. A backup striker, really. This is the season where he's really got to grow and it looks like he is so far. Andre Wisdom, again, he doesn't look too good. He's just a backup centre-back. I'll be Using him until he gets bored of not being a first team player. Um, Gareth Barrow, just a centre back I've promoted. Um, just as backup because our main centre back is injured. Uh, ben Davies, our left back. You know Ben Davies. Decent left back, very good. Has a lot of offers for him, but I want to keep him the fire. He's a player who I hope develops extremely well. He's our main striker. I'm expecting big goals from him. Last season he got 16 and 36, which is. All right, but I want better. I want, I want him to get into the 20s this season. Uh, Martin Flint, beast. Just a beast. Uh, one of my favourite players. And then Rodrigo Gomez has been pushed to right back. I played him there for one game, the, the qualifying game against the uh, Danish team. And he played very well. He played like Danny Alves. He just shot up the wings. And he's got great stamina, so he does manage to get back as well. Um, hopefully he learns the, the role very quickly. It's important for me. Um, he's key to our formation. Graham, average, he's just back up really, yet again, hopefully he develops some, you know, <laughs> he hasn't got too much to offer, he's just back up really, but he's a nice player, he's a nice player, good dribbling and good pace, we've got Connor Graves, who's sort of our Stephen Gerrard, hopefully he develops as well, I was thinking about tra training him defensively as well, so he could sort of play that defensive midfielder role, because he's not that creative, he doesn't seem to be that creative, Philippe Gutierrez is our main player. He's the most valuable player. Big, big lab. He's the big name. He's the first name on the team sheet. He's going to be playing a more defensive role, more Paul Scholes sort of role now, sitting back and dictating the tempo rather than being the advanced playmaker. Harry Kane is our backup striker. Perry Law is a young goalkeeper. Went on loan to Rangers last season and got a lot of game time. So I want him to be back up this season. With goalkeepers, I like to rotate it. One year they go out and loan, one year they stay as backup. It makes sure you've always got backup and they're never stressy. So I like to have a lot of goalkeepers and rotate through them. Uh, and one of them is bound, always is bound to become one of the best players. Ryan Ledson there, I showed you him. Callum McManaman needs him to step up this season, although he's got a major injury. He's been quiet last season. Liam Moore, decent. Revel Morrison, decent. Oliver Nord, decent, uh, and Tom Powell, who's someone I really want to develop. Um, yeah, again, it's the do or die season for him. He has to really shoot up in his attributes this season if he wants to stay here. And I showed you Sanchez and Gabriel Silva, and then we're back to Jason Steele. So that's the players for you guys. Leave your opinions. What player looks most tasty, and where do you think you'll finish this season? Hopefully, sit for game. It will be good for me. Just want to keep getting into that Europe because we're really struggling with money. So we need to get that financial windfall of Europe that Europe Cup brings. I'll see you later, uh, boys. Bye-bye.